For our hot cocoa cups, we're gonna start with the background. For the background, first you're gonna use a Sharpie and you gotta draw a line straight across, okay? And below the Sharpie, that's gonna be like the table where the cup, cup sits and above is the background. And you gotta pick some patterns to do. So one pattern for the tabletop and one pattern for the background, right? You could do any pattern you want and you're just gonna draw it out. It could be a simple pattern. It could be a complicated pattern. So now that my whole pattern is done, right? I did stripes on the bottom, I did stars and polka dots on the top. Now I'm gonna use paint to paint my whole piece of paper, carefully painting the patterns that I've done. To use paint, it's been a little while, but you're gonna have a paint palette with all of the colors of the rainbow. This is shared with the person next to you. You're gonna have a cup of water, right? Again, shared with the person next to you. You're gonna need a paper towel and a paintbrush, okay? This paint, unlike the watercolor paint, you don't have to add anything to it to work, right? It's already wet, it's already paint-like. The water and the paper towels to clean your paintbrush off in between colors. So you could do any colors you want. I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna fill it in. And then when you're ready to change colors, you gotta rinse it off in the, in the water. And then we don't wanna add any water to these paints. So then before I pick a new color, I'm gonna dry my paintbrush off on the paper towel. Oops. And then I can pick a new color. This is gonna take me a while, whoops. But so I'm going really slow. I'm taking my time going around my stars and my polka dots. I'm at this bowl and thinking she should have done the whole background first and then done her design because, oh my goodness. And again, if I'm gonna change my colors, I'm going in the water. I don't wanna add any water to the paint, so I'm drying it off. And I can get a new color. Oh no. And look, my blue and my yellow mixed. I'm gonna have to wait till that blue dries. And you're just gonna paint it all in. Once your background is done being painted, then you're gonna go up to the windowsill and you're gonna pick your, yourself a new piece of paper, any color you want. And this piece of paper is gonna be for your cup and your saucer. So I'm gonna turn it sideways. And first I'm gonna draw my cup, right? And you can make any kind of cup you want you could do like a long skinny cup. And then at the top, I'm gonna make it arch up and then I'm gonna put an oval and that's where I'm gonna put my hot chocolate. And you could add any kind of handle you want. You could make it fancy. Right? Don't forget to add your designs your pattern. So I'm gonna do a pattern of stripes and polka dots. And then you also need a saucer. And a saucer is just like a plate that can hold any cookies 
or spills and that should just be like an oval. And again, I'm gonna add a little circle in the middle where the cup goes and then I'm gonna add a pattern. I think I'm gonna make mine match. I'm gonna make it match the cup. And then to color in our pattern, since this is a lot smaller, it's gonna be hard to use paint. We're gonna use oil pastels, right? So each big table is gonna get one bin with four boxes of oil pastels. And since we used oil pastels, lots of other grades have been using them, so they're not as pretty. But there should be, amongst all of them, all of the colors. And then you can add your pattern, color in your pattern. Remember, it's gotta be something that's repeating. So then I added brown in the oval of my mug to make it look like it's full of hot chocolate. Hot chocolate, not coffee. Don't forget to slide the cover onto those oil pastels. That's gonna help keep them, as many of them as nice and neat as possible. When you're done coloring your cup and saucer with your pattern, whoops. Then you're gonna use some scissors, remember, thumb on top to cut them out. Go slow. I made a fancy handle, so now I gotta go slow. And take my time. I'm doing little bits at a time. And to cut out the inside of your handle, I'm gonna gently fold it. Then I'm gonna make a cut in the middle. Now I can get my scissors inside and carefully cut out the space inside my handle. Again, I'm going slow. I'm making little, little cuts. And then I can cut that out. And now I have my mug and saucer. And I'm going to glue them onto my background. So remember, you've got one part of the pattern supposed to be the table. And one pattern is supposed to be the wall. So I'm gonna use my glue. Might have to get some of the crusties, dry crusties off the top. Twist the orange part to open it. I'm just using dots. And so the saucer needs to be on the pattern that's gonna be the table. All right, so it actually looks like it's sitting on a surface. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my mug. I'm gonna put dots of glue. And then I'm gonna place it so it, it looks like it's sitting on the saucer. it down flat. Once you have your cup on your saucer, you could use a white oil pastel and add some steam. It looks like it's nice and hot. You could get another piece of paper from the windowsill and you could and you could cut out marshmallows, you could add cookies or candy canes or snacks, and then put it on the drying rack. 